Right, hi again. I thought I'd do a little bit more in here today because you seemed to enjoy that the other day. Um, so I still want to work from this and I've been looking at, I really like this and it's kind of, if you do my classes, it's kind of, everything on here is default what I do. It's the only thing I can draw. Don't ask me to draw a bird or anything because you just, well you wouldn't believe how incompetent I am at doing things like that. So I'm going to try and do some of that on there and I'm going to try and find a place on there for it um, and I'm not sure what colour to use so again I think that's the very bright one isn't it yeah, I don't think I want the very bright one I did yesterday but I don't today um, that's quite a nice browny red that's my printer having a seizure just ignore it that's, actually, I like that one. That's like a very dark purple. I know, that's a very bright one, so I don't want that. And if you noticed as well, I mean, it's probably nothing, and you probably think it's nothing, um, but just doing that as well, that's adding marks to this page that I really like. I really like my little colour testing marks. So I need... It needs to start somewhere and finish somewhere. So I need an area where there's two things going on. Um... So I'm wondering actually about joining these. So if I start there and just do a curved line to join to that one. Okay. So then what I need to do, this is what I like, this curving round like a wrap, isn't it? Um, so let me think. So if I wrap it from there to there, yeah, that's going to work. And then make that a bit thicker and colour that in a little bit. So hopefully it looks as if that's quite cool. like that. It's coming around from there to there. And do it again there. And make it a bit thicker and then colour it in. And then to there, so that one's coming up the way a little bit. And again, make it thicker and colour it in. Somebody commented on my Facebook link to this, to the post the other day and said, oh, that's lovely, I'm going to doodle tomorrow. And oh, that's amazing. That's really amazing. Even if just one person starts doodling, that's fabulous. And then that's not coloured in properly. Can't colour in. That one to there. And again, colour it in. I mean, you can do off the top of your head. I'm not very good at that though. I like a sauce and I think it's better for me. I prefer to use my own sauce where I can. This came, if you didn't see those original videos, this came from looking at Vivian Westwood fashions in a book. Um, some of the sleeve details and things and the cord details. But then, so I did that, doodled that. And this looks a lot different now to Vivian Westwood's work. Um, so now I'm working from this. And really, in theory, it should move it on slightly so it doesn't look exactly the same as the sauce although I'm not sure that that's the case here and I'm getting running out of room now I'm getting to the bottom so these are going to be getting smaller but I really do like them um, until I've run out of room completely so perhaps I could join this one to that one there so that's that now what else can I put in there um, there's a lot of cross hatching going on on my original thing there's like almost some bead things going on I'm wondering if could do some maybe some beads along the bottom of here change color
or props. So beads. But see, that's not dark enough to cover that line that's going across there. So props go over it. That's not really going to work either. I'll just have to do them with this and live with that line. And they're not all the same size, they don't have to be uniform. Um, See if I uh, can you say and that's the dashed line going through that you can see so maybe I'll do that, change that into a solid line and then the dashed line won't seem as obvious so it's like five minutes how long is it? six minutes but it's like five or six minutes a day you can build up quite a nice pattern I'm doing this because I'm not really here today um, my niece when you get this today my niece is coming from Sweden that's better. There. So it looks like beads on a chain. So I'll turn that round so it faces you. But a very quick exercise. Um, when if I do this every so often over a period of months. I'm going to have some nice patterning going on, I think. Uh, there. So that's what I've done today. Okay.